Good evening, this is the Star Report. I'm your host, Star, and I have a very, very special guest tonight. She goes by the name of Glamour Perfect. Good evening, how are you? I'm great, how are you? Good, good, good. You are the toast of the town. Uh, everybody's talking about you, but uh, but you're not talking. <laughs> right. What's going on? Are you okay? First and foremost, are you okay? Yeah, of course. I'm good. Still working. Um, I work two jobs. I'm just always busy, so that, that, that has a lot to do with why I haven't been able to talk because I'm so busy with that. So. Got you. Got That's you. how that goes. Okay. So, can you give us some background? Uh, you are how old? Where you from? And uh, tell us if you're transgender, if you're female. Just just bring us up to speed because again, people are talking. Right. Well, I am Glamour Perfect. I'm 30 years old. I'm from Montgomery, Alabama. Um, born and raised. Um, I've lived in Atlanta, Miami, Nashville. Um, I like to move and travel. So. Okay. That's that has a lot to do with the reason I move around like that. But right. other than that, I I do hair, makeup, eyelashes, all the glam stuff. I dance. Um, I've done physical fitness, um, teaching, coaching, and um, some. Well, my best friend has a she has a studio in Montgomery, Cashmere's okay. Dance Studio. So, okay. Yeah, they should go check that out as well. So I've done physical fitness and pole fitness there as well. So. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's pretty much about me. So you're very, very busy, and I appreciate you, you know, reaching out. Um, people have been, you know, uh, seeing audio, seeing video. I don't want to go into that direction unless you want to. I more so just want to find out if you're okay, if, you're, uh, if your life is in danger, because we've been hearing audio about, you know, um, right. uh, we've been hearing audio about bullets are flying, and I, yeah. I assume the video that we saw is you. I don't even know. I, I don't know if that was you. Was that you in the video that we saw? I don't, I'm unsure. I don't know which video you've seen. You know, there's so <laughs> many videos out there. And there's so much that's going on right now that is just so funny to me. But as far as the audio, and um, that, that has, as far as that goes, the conversations have also been taken and pieced up so okay. how they're hearing it is not the way that it really came out right. um there has never been threats towards me from you know the source or these people mm-hmm. other than social media and okay. everyone that has their two sins in their space so right. you know what they feel of the situation they're putting the rumors and this and that and the other out there that makes the situation seem you know, threatening or mm-hmm. dangerous. However, it is a dangerous situation. And not only that, just living my life as transgender is a dangerous situation. Okay. You know, me dealing with celebrities and rich and powerful guys is a dangerous situation. Right. So right. there's nothing new about anything that's going on in my life right now. <laughs> okay. So you're 30 years of age and you are transgender, yes? Yes. Okay. So if I can just be a little graphic here. You do have a tool between your legs. I I have everything that I was born with, the exact way that I was born. <laughs> okay. Well, well I, I don't know exactly, you know, your your full background. I hear you say that you're in the uh, entertainment field. I'm, I believe you. But you are transgender, and you do have the, the, the package, so to speak, that you were born with. We can say that? Yes, everything I was born with. Okay, okay. All right, so with regards to um, for what people are knowing you now by way of, is that something that you want us to forget, or is that something that was something that happened in time and you're recovering from that? Where are we with that? Of course, um, of course. It's something that maybe people will always remember. Um, of course, that's not only I want people to remember me, because at the end of the day, they don't know, no one, no one knows the story. Right. No one knows anything about the situation, so... It's like you have to really get into that or really hear both sides of the story or at least understand the reason why. And and, and, and anyone who's smart enough that put enough, you know, hear all this audio and all this video that you see out there together, it it doesn't take a rocket science right. scientist to know, <laughs> you know, what the, what the situation was. So... At the end of the day, it is what it is, and it's a story that will eventually come out because I'm also writing books. Um, 
I have a lot Mm-mm. that's going on. So you about to tell it all. You about to tell it all. It's not spill it, and it's not just really <laughs> spill it all about. And it's not even that situation. It's just right. me in person. Okay. And, and, I mean, in person, in general, and what I've you know been through to even get here, or the the trials and tribulations of a transgender woman mm-hmm. being you know in America already being black in America. Right. You know, it's just so much that comes with it to be broken down that the world needs to see and understand okay. from my point of view. Okay. Well, you know, my um, my perception of you, I mean, this is the first time we're speaking, but my perception of you is that you are a, uh, you're a rider. I mean, I heard some audio with you talking to someone who sounds like a famous rapper. And again, I'm not going to say names. And I heard you say that you've been, you know, you've been down for that person for a number of years. You said years, yes? Right. Yeah. That's me. I'm real. I'm a writer. That's what it is. It's, it's years of, you know, situations that has brought this point, you know, to a head, you know, so that's, that's just is what it is. It okay. has taken years to get to this point. Right, right. So now, um, respectfully, have you been betrayed in some way? Because I, I also saw you, you know, looking kind of depressed and um, I didn't know whether that was just, you know, uh, in the moment or whether that's how you've been feeling for quite some time. Uh, Were you betrayed? Of course I've been betrayed. Of course I've been betrayed. Can you tell us anything about that or or is that too personal? I mean, of course it's personal, but it's, it's, it's nothing new to anybody that's going through life, dealing with relationships and trying to deal with, the person that they're, you know, dealing with Mm -hmm. and meeting them in circumstances that you meet them in. And not only that, for transgender women in general, dealing with, you know, those men. So, of course, that's a situation that is very, you know, sensitive and personal. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, it's a situation that so many people are going through. And it's not just transgender women. It's not just men. It's not just women. It's everyone that goes through situations with people not knowing the whole situation or being told this and being told that and this not happening. You know, you try and try over and over again, then feelings are involved. So right. it's, it's like, okay, fuck it. But then it's like, you know, not, you're, you know, and it's, it's just you try and try. And, and especially being a person that I am, I'm very private. Right, right. I'm very, I'm open. I'm real. I live my life in the open. You know, I just, I'm like that. But when it comes my personal life right. that's very very private and sacred to me so well I that's heard something that never yeah huh? I, I heard you say earlier that you know um you made reference to both sides you know speaking speaking about the situation H- how much do you want us to know because again i want to be respectful to that guy um you know he's he hasn't denied that he was in the room with you but at the same time um, are you saying that he he betrayed you, and and that's what led up to this particular point of you? You know, in fact, filming and uh, recording audio. I, I didn't say that I filmed and record audio because a okay. lot of the audio that's out there, I did not record and I did not put out there. So Understood. That's why Understood. I was devastated about the info because I feel like either I was tricked and lied to, or maybe someone has hacked our phones or something, you know, so okay. that's just another situation that I really don't want to get into right okay. now, but, okay. um, okay. yeah, so at a some, lot yeah. going on with that. <laughs> at some point, there was a video with you recanting parts of your story. Uh, were you right. forced into that, or, or did you come to some type of And it wasn't, and rational? it wasn't even, and it wasn't forced. It okay. wasn't forced. It was me. It was, once again, being that person in a situation with a person that they care about that can okay. serenade and free talk them into doing whatever they want to do because you know that's just how it goes but right. then it's like you're betrayed once again and over and over so yeah um i did that for that person okay. but i was not threatened to do it i wasn't threatened to do it okay. and i wasn't i didn't feel afraid <laughs> when i was doing it i did it on purpose because I wanted to. So this is a person you know, and you didn't necessarily have to get a bag to do this, is what you're saying. 
Right. Yeah. Is this relationship still blossoming, or have things come to a halt now because of the the exposure and and the fact that we all now can see things? You know, uh, it, we can I see it into know. your world. I don't. I mean, I don't know, and I'm not dwelling upon the situation. I'm just moving forward, and you know, just whatever's whatever, because that's me. Mm -hmm. I, I go with the flow, and I do everything for a reason, everything happens for a reason, is how I feel like I'm very spiritual, and I move with the emotions of the earth, so mm -hmm. I'm just going with the flow for now okay. to, you know, <laughs> wherever it ends up, is what it is. Mm -hmm. Well, if I can say respectfully, you sound like someone who's in love. Are you in love with this person? No, I'm not in love with this person. <laughs> Glamour? What? Glamour. <laughs> Why? The actions that you did, and as you just said, without a, <laughs> without a bag being exchanged, that's the that's actions. Just as a friend, and that's no, no, as hang, hang on. If I can just finish, help a friend. If, if I can just finish, you conducted yourself as a rider, as a down bitch, as somebody who you know uh, has been in a relationship for a number of years, and and <laughs> based upon your true feelings, you said, "Hey, I'll do this because." I love you. <laughs> it is what it is. You love your friends, right? Okay, <laughs> so, so you do love them. Yeah, of course. Okay. Does he love you? I don't know. I didn't hear a man calling you, threatening you. Um, and again, we're talking about a certain individual. I don't want to say his name unless you do. I'm not trying to, you know clown nor play the guy out but you know he, he was talking to you as if you know there was a a true bond there it wasn't a bond of you know i'm going to give you a two-piece when i see you or you know um you're out of pocket this was a this was a genuine conversation and yeah. you know I, I heard a lot of emotion on both sides no, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm unsure of what, because I didn't even, I haven't listened to the entire. I think you should. Because I know I was there. Yeah. But I was there, and I'm like, okay, I remember. Shit was so sweet, I got a cavity listening to it. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I just don't, I don't know, you know. Okay. I just don't. <laughs> so, um, are there any more recordings or any more video that we should expect? I don't think so. I mean, if if something else comes out, Glamour. it is definitely. I, I listen. I'm just like I'm telling the truth. If anything else pop up or surfaces, it definitely was it from my end. So yeah, it is. It, everything is dead on my end to me. So I don't know how other people. Or other parties are feeling, are trying to handle situations, mm -hmm. or what they have planned for the future. But at the end of the day, it was good on my end as far as mm -hmm. other videos and uploadings and recordings. It's like it's a petty game, and so there's no conspiracy. <laughs> so there's no conspiracy huh? against this person, is what you're saying? Um, I. <laughs> I mean, I just don't even want to speak on, you know, just that situation mm -hmm. at the moment because there's still so much going on with that. So I just don't know. Like I said, my phones could be hacked. Who knows? Right, right, my right. Instagram was there. My number was there. Everything. My email's there. It's like, it is what it is. There's a theory going around that he was catfished and he really doesn't know you like that and you know he was a little high and drunk and um when he realized you were you know a chick with the dick he snapped out of it and <laughs> now he you know he's, he stuck his foot in something i mean and, and that's a possibility again I don't, i'm not trying to clown the guy because you know in in 2018 a lot of people including myself you know we know transgender people we've got family friends so it's not, right. it's, it's not, you know, out of the ordinary to be in a situation with someone, you know, unless something really does take place. Uh, can you speak, right. can you speak to that theory? Um, I don't know. I, it's, all I know is that we, I live in Nashville. And so, like I said, I rap and I'm in studios and I 
no, you know, I know a lot of men. I'm, I'm, I'm the girl that's with the hood niggas. Like I'm, I'm out there. Like okay. I'm in. That's just me. So I, I've met him. I know them through music and stuff like that. So it's just, that's just is what it is. <laughs> Well, no, I, I don't doubt that you've met him, and I don't doubt that you've been, you know, w within his company. But what I'm saying is that, you know, there's a theory that he went to the hotel to meet someone who he thought was a female, and then, you know, there you are popping up with the, uh, with the tool between your legs, and he says, whoa, no. this ain't what I wanted. No. If that happened, that wasn't, you know, with me. If that, if that, if that the theory, that that was theory. We had had nothing to do with me. I wasn't included. I wasn't involved mm -hmm. with that theory. So, okay. no, definitely not. Were my ears playing tricks on me? I thought I heard that guy in the room with you when you were on the bed, and he said, "Taste this dick." Did he say that? I, I don't know. That's what I heard someone else say as well. And I think at the same time, it's like no one sees. No one can see his face. No one can see anything on that video and you know just like with the you know there's a lot of situations been going on where people have their theories and they just you know at this at this point in the video did you hear this uh, did you hear that and it's just a lot of you know a lot of people that think they hear things and say what they thought they heard and mm -hmm. you know there's just always well that's what I thought I heard that back and forth that, that's what that's I thought, what I thought I heard. you heard as yeah. well yeah I thought and like I said I haven't even, I haven't followed, I, I really, <laughs> really haven't followed up on the okay. videos and, and looking at everything like that because I'm at work so much. My managers are always like, get off your phone, you know, and I'm a server at one job, so I'm always running at the other job. I'm dealing with the front desk, so it's all, and I never really have the time to get deep into everything that's really going on, but it, yeah. <laughs> All I know is it's really crazy. The whole situation is okay. funny. So, uh, if I can also ask, were you in that hotel because you're an escort? Of course not. Okay. I was in that hotel because I visited the city. I, I okay. was visiting. Understood. Understood. Yeah, I visited. So, th <laughs> so this was an arrangement. This wasn't just some fly-by-night, you know, I'm going to smash some broad and then, holy shit, it's not a broad. Th th this wasn't that. What was that? The theory that I just laid out. That wasn't oh. the, the correct theory. No, I don't know. Definitely, I don't think so at all. No. So, is it your your story here today that you are in a relationship, you were, or you just know him? I, I know him. I know, I, I just know him. Mm -hmm. I'm definitely, I'm not in a relationship with him. Okay. I know him and I'm not in a relationship with him. Were you ever in a relationship? Some type of, you know... You asked the question, I just gave you the answer. Well, there's different types of relationships. There's friendship relationships, there's sexual well, relationships, there's, there's drug-induced relationships, you know. No, there was no drug-induced. But that's all. Keep us posted. I, I went to one of your IG pages and that was down, but then some of the videos disappeared, then they come back. So I'm, I'm just, you know, trying to... Trying to stay in tune with who you it's are. It's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. It was blocked or something. Like, <laughs> you know, the IP and everything was blocked. So that's what happens when you're dealing with people like that, you know. But at the end of the day, you know, you just keep keep it pushing. I made a new one and life moves on. Life goes on. Life that's goes the name on. of the song. Life okay. goes on. <laughs> Grandma Perfect, it was nice to talk to you and uh, I wish you all the best. You too. Thank you so much. Have a great night. Take care now.